So, do you know someone who never reads? What about someone who's a voracious reader but never ever takes action, huh? Or maybe that's you. <laughs> this is a truth about books and self-education and I guarantee you're not going to like it. When it comes to books and self-education, there are three kinds of people. Those who haven't read a book in a year, those who read a book a day, and then the smart ones. Which one are you? We'll find out after the intro, of course. Drop it. The rich and financially literate people have libraries filled with books, while the poors have the dopest sneakers, the latest video games, the latest iPhones, and know the most expensive restaurants in town. I want to ask you one question. What do you invest your money in? Remember the wise words of Erasmus. When I get a little money, I buy books. If any is left, I buy food and clothes. When you listen to the billionaire entrepreneurs on how they made their wealth, or to the elite athletes on how they became successful, one thing always comes up. They educated themselves either through books or podcasts or training videos. Bill Gates, founder of Microsoft, worth $99 billion, said, I've been reading about a book a week since I was a kid. Even when my schedule is out of control, I always carve out time for reading. Warren Buffett, founder of Berkshire Hathaway, worth $85 billion, reads 500 pages a day. Mark Zuckerberg, founder of Facebook, worth $65 billion, has challenged himself to read at least a book every two weeks. And then I hear some friends saying, I'm gonna be a millionaire and haven't opened or listened to a book in a year? You've got to be kidding me, right? <laughs> no, seriously, you've got to be kidding me. Reading is essential for those who seek to rise above the ordinary, said the late motivational speaker, Jim Rohn. You cannot expect to reach your full potential, achieve great things, all in a timely manner if you don't read. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I really am. And if you don't aspire to reach the highest heights, build the best version of yourself and reach your full potential, then I don't think my videos are for you. I'll be really honest with you. Definitely not for you. You can keep scrolling. This is not for you. But if you do, then you better get to work today, right this moment. Go and pick up a book on any area you want to improve and start reading or listening. If you don't know where to start, I have three great books I recommend. Think and Grow Rich, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And you can even listen to them for free on YouTube. So you have no excuse whatsoever. And these are just the basics to help transform your mind. And reading your textbooks and your manuals is great, but it's definitely not enough. Fiction and romance don't count either. If you wanna grow bigger and better and faster than everybody else, but most importantly than your previous self, you have to feed your mind with non-fictional books outside of school and work. Now, the biggest excuse I hear all the time from everybody is, I don't have time to sit down and read. Well, there are now audiobooks, which I personally utilize most of the time to read books. But if you don't even have time for audiobooks, please stop booking yourself. I mean, you have time for friends and social media, but not for your self-education. You have time for video games, but not for learning. You have time for TV, but not for personal improvement. I'm over this. Let's talk about a second group of people, what I call the book nerd. If you're a book nerd, you likely read a book a month, a book a week, or even a book a day. So obviously reading is not a problem for you. Your problem is likely going to be what I call analysis paralysis. Your head is filled with ideas and theories that you never dared to apply anywhere. You spend so much time reading and feeding your mind that you barely make time to take action. I don't care how many books you read on driving, until you get your hands on the wheel, you know nothing about driving. All your knowledge is just theoretical, in the clouds. So please, come down to earth. You've been thinking too much. 
take action now. Listen, I'm sorry to go off in you like that, but it pains me so much to see so many people obsessed with reading and personal development that they lose sight of its purpose. You learn so you can apply. And after you've applied, based on that experience, you recalibrate and adjust your knowledge and go right back to applying again. That's what personal development is all about. If you're a book nerd, be proud of your accomplishment. Trust me, you belong to the top percentage of the population because most people don't even bother to read. Now you have to be excited about the next step for you, which is taking action. You've already done the hard part. Now go and apply. Let's move on to my next and final category, which I call the smart ones. If you are in this category, you are likely to do the following. You read at least a book a month or every two weeks. You allow the information to sit and mature in your brain between books. And after every book you read, you take action and implement what's in the book. You have a reading list of books to read in the future. And as you invest in leisure and pleasure, you always remember to invest in books as well. You often reread the same books to make sure you understand the information thoroughly and recall it. And finally, you read a little bit every single day. I know this video is going to tick some people off and make them angry. That's great. I think I would have accomplished my mission because only the truth really hurts. This was Guess for your weekly dose of inspiration and motivation on Guestivation. Peace.